All right, I am uh, making a quick video to uh, show some stick issues I'm having with my Mad Cats TE2. Now, this is one of the early ones. Uh, it's the Ultra Street Fighter 4 edition. Uh, and this started happening rarely recently, and it's starting to happen more and more. Uh, so this video is for Mad Cat support and or anyone else who has seen it and has some ideas of what can fix it. Uh, so this is in PS4 mode. As you can see, home button works fine. I log in fine. Within the menus, everything works fine. Options button, share button, and home. All of that works fine. So I'm going to launch Street Fighter V. Now, I'm unsure if this is a Mad Cats issue, or if this is a Capcom issue, or some combination of both. So let's see what happens when this logs in. Nothing works. You can see, I can't skip the prompt. None of the buttons actually do anything despite working fine in the menu. Uh, the home button still works fine. I can still access the menu at any given time. Uh, just to confirm that this is the TE2, I'm going to turn on the DualShock 4, log in as that same user, and the DualShock 4 works fine. Now again, I can use the home button, log in as the T2, still does nothing within Street Fighter V. Now if I leave Street Fighter V and launch another game, let's see how this works. So it does not appear to be working correctly in Street Fighter 4 either. Uh, let's see what happens here. Now once I get into Street Fighter 4, everything works fine. You can see all the buttons work, directionals work. So this works fine. Uh, let's see what else do I have. I have Skullgirls. So it looks like, again, I can't get past the splash screens if I log in with the DS4 to get past them. And then log back in with the T2. Now it doesn't look like it works here either. Uh, so that's where I'm at. If anybody has seen this before, if you found a solution, uh, or if you are Mad Cat support, let me know if you have any ideas what I can try to fix this or what could be causing the problem. All right, thanks.